So we're working with a problem. Uh, three uh, dx dt plus two x is equal to one. So this is called a first order linear differential equation. Uh, in this first technique, this first technique that we're going to introduce is called variation of parameters. Variation of parameters. All right. Variation of parameters. So let's just jump right into it. To begin this technique, what we're going to have to do is start off by making sure this term in front of dx dt is 1. So if we do that, we end up with dx dt plus 2 thirds x is equal to 1 third. So the first step is to make sure that this first term is 1. And the way you do that is you divide each of these terms by 3. Right? So now what we want you to do is make this equation what you call homogeneous, meaning that all of this equation is equal to 0. So temporarily what you're going to do is just ignore the 1 third temporarily and make it a 0. dx dt plus 2 thirds x is equal to is equal to zero. Alright? So then what you're gonna do is solve for dx dt and you end up with dx dt is equal to negative two thirds x. And now what you're gonna do is just gonna solve this problem using uh, separate you divide by x on both sides, you end up with 1 over x dx is equal to negative 2 thirds dt. Sorry about that. This x would need to be moved over there with the dx over here. You take the antiderivative of both sides, and you'd end up with the natural log of x plus c is equal to negative two-thirds t plus c. Right. So you solve for x, you solve for x, you end up with um, making each of these sides the exponent of e, and you end up with x with respect to t is equal to, use your algebra 2, to combine this, you end up with e to the c times e to the negative two-thirds using your algebra 2 property. And this ends up being x sub t is equal to, let's just call this e, e sub c, one constant, k, e to the negative two-thirds uh, t. Sorry about that. That should be a t there. All right. So as of right now, as of right now, this represents um, almost the solution that we're looking for. So this technique is called very variation of parameters. What what has been um, researched over years and years and years is that one technique of solving this kind of equation is to turn this constant vary this constant with respect to time. Um, so what we do here is x sub t, instead of k, you make that k with respect to time, e to the negative two-thirds t. All right? Now, someone might say, well, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Well, I'm not going to explain why we turn this k to k sub t, just know that that can be proven. Okay, that can be proven. We're not going to do it today. There's a rather lengthy, extravagant proof as to why we went from k to k sub t. What I'm trying to do right now is introduce this technique to you so that you could use it within a class setting. Right, so now, 
what we're going to do is this represents our solution. This represents our solution. So once we have a solution, what we can do is we can substitute this into our original problem that we started out with. But to substitute this into our original problem, we need the derivative of x, because that's what that represents, the derivative. Right, so let's figure out the derivative of x sub t. Right, so the derivative of x sub t, dx dt, is equal to, we need to take the derivative of a product. So we end up with k prime sub t, we have to use a product rule, but that's the derivative of the first, times the second, negative two-thirds t, plus the derivative of the second, that would be negative two-thirds e to the negative two-thirds t, that's the derivative of this, times k sub t, times the first. So now, that is dx dt. What we're going to do now is substitute that back into our original problem. All right, so our original problem is 3. We put a 3 here. dx dt, that's the derivative of x with respect to t. We just did that. We just did that. So we get k prime sub t e to the negative 2 thirds t minus 2 thirds e to the negative 2 thirds t times k sub t. So all of that represents the derivative. All of this represents dx dt. Now plus 2 plus 2 x plus 2 x. x for us was right here. We saw for x right here. Uh oh, sorry. We saw for x right there. So we get 2 times k sub t e to the negative 2 thirds t. That's x. Okay. And now, we're just about done substituting into the equation, we need to equal to 1. Equal to 1. So now let's just solve for um, k, because once we solve for k sub t, this is our equation right here, x sub t is equal to k sub t times e to the negative two-thirds t. Once we solve for k sub t, we just substitute it to that, and then we'll be done. So we end up with 3 k prime sub t e to the negative two-thirds t. Minus, we're distributing as 3, minus 2 e to the negative 2 thirds t times k sub t plus 2 k sub t e to the negative 2 thirds t right, equal to 1, equal to 1. So now what you end up, notice what we have here. We have 2e to the negative 2 thirds t k sub t, 2e to the negative 2 thirds um, k sub t. All right, that's a negative, that's a positive. You end up with cancellation there, and that's normal. If you don't, in fact, if you don't get cancellation, you've got a big problem. You've got a big problem. All right, so let's keep going. So we end up with 3k prime sub t e to the negative two-thirds t is equal to one, is equal to one. Okay. So now what we're going to do, now what we're going to do is try to solve for, given k prime, we want to solve for k sub t. Let's divide that three over, we get k prime t e to the negative two-thirds t is equal to one-third. That's after dividing the three over. Let's divide the e to the negative two-thirds t over. All right, if we do that, we end up with k prime sub t is equal to one-third e 
to the two-thirds t, if you divide by um, you divide by e to the negative two-thirds, that e to the negative two-thirds in the denominator, and moving it to the numerator, it would change your sign there. And so now we wanted to again we wanted to solve for k sub t to substitute there. The way we're going to solve for k sub t is to take the antiderivative. You do that, you end up with k sub t is equal to. Uh, I always like to at this point use uh, u substitution, uh, a calculus one idea. U is equal to two thirds t. Du is equal to two thirds dt. You end up with one third times the antiderivative of e to the u du. But with that du being there, there is a two thirds that is non-existent in the problem. So let's multiply. Let's multiply by to get rid of that two thirds. Let's multiply by three halves. Multiply by three halves. You end up with k sub t. Uh oh, sorry about that. K sub t is equal to one half times the antiderivative of e to the u. Antiderivative of e to u. That's e to the u. Antiderivative of e to the u is itself e to the u. So you end up with e to the two thirds t plus c plus c. Almost done. K sub t is equal to um, well, you, you solve for k sub t. So we have k sub t. So now what we said is now that we have k sub t, what we can do is we can substitute k sub t into this equation here. Uh, this equation here. Right. So it's called a general solution. All right. So substitute this k sub t into the general equation. We end up with x sub t is equal to um, one half e to the two thirds t plus c. That is multiplied by e to the negative two thirds t. Right, we just substituted what we got down here, right here into k sub t. So what you end up with is x sub t is equal to distribute the e to the negative two thirds to the one half e to the two thirds. We get one half because when you multiply, bases are the same. You add the exponents, you get one half, and distribute e to the negative two thirds t times c. You get plus c e to the negative two thirds t, and that is your final particular solution. That's your final solution. X sub t is equal to one half plus c e to the negative two thirds um, uh, two thirds t.